Hey, y'all, this is Coach Simmons, and I may lose subscribers for this, but I got to do it. I found some more stuff. Maybe y'all know that at Jackson. We're going to let the world know today. Follow me. Please. Coach Simmons again, and I want to bring something up to you. Whenever I do a video, I always seem to find something that I wanted to find out after the video's done. That's just how my channel works. I'm not opposed to dropping four videos in one damn day, especially if I find something that's very interesting to me. This is an article which will be linked in the description below from 2007. Jackson State's always talking about Building on tradition, blazing new trails. Well, let's look at the tradition that they had about money. 2007, as you can see, I'll make it bigger for the folks in the back with bad vision like me. Hines County. Jackson State had approximately 148 million point seven impact. In Hines County, 1,776 jobs and about $51.4 million in labor income. $148 million in economic impact. In the Jackson metropolitan area, eh, 170. 2,086 jobs, $56 million in labor, An additional. JSU expenditures resulted in an additional $60.7 million output for capital and $25 million in labor income. Jackson East City, $21.5 million, 188 jobs, $5.6 million in labor income. The proposed new Jackson Stadium that has been proposed forever would make $4 million more per year. It was so good, the tax subsidy they were getting, the $33.8 million, was cost-benefit because Jackson State produced a hell of a lot more than that tax uh, subsidy gave them. So, yeah, Mississippi Urban Research Center. People. $148 million economic impact. This is the economic impact of JSU on Hines County. Direct effect, $38.62 million. Payroll effect directly, $35 million. Student expenditures, $30 million. Total economic impact, $105 million. You add in the 22 for indirect and induced for 21. Labor income, $13 million for the direct operating budget. Payroll, $11 million. Student expenditures, $12 million. Total economic impact, labor income only, $36 million. For Hines County only, this is what Jackson State does. Total, 148.7, labor income, 51. Breaks down everything. This is what an HBCU does. This is pre-prime. Operating budget. 170, this is Hines County again. Sorry, this is Jackson, I'm sorry, Jackson. Direct effect, 40. Output, payroll, direct effect, uh, 36. Student expenditure, 33. Direct effect, 110. Indirect, induced, 170. This is what happened pre-prime, right? This is before Coach Prime showed up. Way before Coach Prime showed up. I think he would have just probably just retired back then. 
But this is what we're talking about. We're talking about building on tradition. These are traditions we have. We need to scream this crap to the Raptors. I want you to do some math real quick, people. I know math is annoying and we're no longer in school, right? 2007. $148.7 million for Hines County, one seventy for Jackson. If you want to, draw in the 22.1 for East City. From around what, 250? No. Around 350? $350 million economic impact just for the region? Just for that region? Now, I know sometimes we get caught up with this crap, and I can be man enough to admit it. As one of the few people on this platform that actually has negotiated the contract and actually typed out a contract for a conference, I can say that. But one thing we got to remember, and I think it comes short sometimes, these are schools. This is not MLS. This is not NBA, NFL, MLB. These are actually schools. So we forget the fact that they graduate doctors, lawyers, nurses, teachers, uh, preachers. They graduate people that make an economic impact in the community besides just football. And that's the bigger picture. I started this video talking about rebuilding Jackson State. But now maybe I think it's rebranding Jackson State. Jackson State is no longer just a football power in my eyes. They're no longer just a team of the swack that had Walter Payton. There is not the person who I'm looking at for the four Hall of Famers more than any other school in the state, including Ole Miss, Mississippi State, and Southern Miss. I'm looking at them as an educational, financial power in the region. If Jackson stay on the same trajectory just from 2007, we know the world went through a pandemic, but if Jackson was on that same path, a half a billion dollar impact is nothing to sneeze at. So maybe when they say building on tradition, lays new trails, they knew what they were talking about. Financial tradition that Jackson has to get the region and themselves back to. We know Jackson, Mississippi has gone through a lot called white flight. You type in Jackson on, on, on online, you'll find out about the hoods and the uh, empty buildings and all that stuff. But we need to rebrand it. Everywhere in the South has had white flight. Especially when the governor doesn't like you. So, I want all Jackson alum who are on this channel, who are on this page, if you see this video, write down in the bottom, write in the comments, how you in particular can assist in rebranding Jackson State. It's not a football power, but a power in general. Coach Simmons, I will talk to y'all later. Happy Father's Day. Happy Juneteenth. I'm out.